It happens every three years, bringing together leaders from 120 countries. The emphasis remains on promoting dialogue, bridging divides and promoting regional cooperation. New goals are also on the table, such as tackling growing famines, terrorism and an increasingly shaky global economy. But the original challenge of standing up for the oppressed in conflicts with global implications is again top of the agenda. In the six decades that passed, the world has witnessed many atrocities. Yet the devastation inflicted on Palestinians since 7 October by the indiscriminate attacks of Israel in Gaza has been unprecedented in many aspects. UN Security Council has been paralyzed due to its inherent flaws and has failed even to call for a ceasefire. Thankfully, the overwhelming majority of the international community reject this injustice. But it's not just the Gaza conflict. Differences over the global economy and particularly climate change in Africa and Asia also show a massive chasm in priorities. With the developed world increasingly being accused of selfish and colonial behavior. NAM leaders insist they want this to change, reflecting what's important for more than two thirds of the world's nations and 55% of its population. They also insist the global south should be allowed to chart their own journeys rather than walk into the future in the footsteps of the West. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.